we're going to be talking about is the flam mill, or the single flam mill, I guess. It's kind of a take on the last rudiment we just did. Um, so you're taking a paradiddle sticking, you're inverting it. Sometimes this is called a diddle para, or I just call it an inverted paradiddle sticking. Okay, so you start with the double right. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. And the double is accented. So try that first without the flam on it, so you get this. And that's with the diddle on the downbeat, so I call that sometimes a diddle para. Okay, so now you have that down, you just add your, your grace note at the beginning. Okay, we want to make sure that traditionally the double is accented. Just as always with all these flam rudiments, make sure you can hear that the flam is there. Make sure there's enough grace note separation so you can hear that. We don't want flat flams, so it just kind of just sounds like inverted paradiddles. It's very hard to play flat flams. Let me try. Like, I can't even play flat flams if I'm playing this rudiment. I guess that's the closest thing. It just, with flat flams, it just kind of sounds like this. Okay, and we don't want that. We want to hear the pop of the flam on the downbeat. Another important thing with this one is that that accented double, make sure you stop the stick afterwards. You gotta play taps after it, so. So I'm going. I'm using wrist and fingers for that double, but it's a staccato double as opposed to a legato double because then your heights would be all up, which, ha which does happen. But traditionally, we have two heights going on here. We have an accent at the beginning and then the taps. needs to be staccato or a stop stroke. And you leave that double at the head. All right, so that's one skill to work on. Uh, but just practice this nice and slow like everything else. This should flow pretty well after a while. Once you control that accent of the double. 